In this video, we're going to look at isoprofit curves. You can see how to solve them and graph them. We're going to start with isoprofit curves where we have no fixed cost. So in this case, without fixed cost, profit is total revenue minus variable cost, where profit is price times quantity minus the wage times labor labor being the variable input. So P is the price of the good, Q is the quantity of output, W the wage, L units of labor. To get the isoprofit curve or equation, we're going to solve the profit equation for Q, the quantity. So I'm just adding this WL to both sides to get this result here. So just again take the profit equation, we're going to solve it for Q. So adding variable costs to the other side. And now I'm going to just divide through by P, the price. And that becomes our isoprofit curve, isoprofit equation. And this equation gives all combinations of labor and output that provide a constant level of profit. So once again, our isoprofit curve. As for graphing, we're going to put Q on the vertical axis and L on the horizontal axis. The vertical intercept is just going to be the profit divided by the price. So that's where the isoprofit curve intersects the vertical or Y axis. And the slope is W divided by P. It is positive. So just taking the derivative of the isoprofit curve with respect to L we get the slope and it's positive so isoprofit curve slope upwards. Let's now do a numerical example. A firm sells its product for $10 per unit, pays workers a wage of $50. We want to drive and graph the firm's isoprofit curve at a profit of $200 and then at $600. So at $200, isoprofit curve is going to look like this. For profit, I'm plugging in $200. For the price, $10. The wage is $50. And again, the price is $10. Simplifying that a little bit, we have this equation for our isoprofit curve. This equation gives all combinations of labor and output that provide a constant level of profit, in this case, a constant level of profit equal to $200. So if L equals 1, Q would be 25. That would be one combination of labor and output that provides $200 of profit. At $600, an isoprofit curve for at $600, just plugging in 600 for profit, the price of the good is still $10 and the wage is still $50. Simplifying, this is, with our, this is what our ISO profit curve looks like for $600. So this equation gives all combinations of labor and output that provide a constant level of profit, in this case $600. Give me any value of L, I'll get the corresponding value of Q, and that combination of L and Q will give us $600 of profit. And just rewriting our ISO profit curve from the last slide. Now let's go ahead and graph these. So here's a graph uh, starting with the ISO profit curve for $200. So notice a vertical intercept where this red line intersects the y axis, which is just very which is just calculating or measuring q. So the vertical intercept is 20 and the slope is 5. So for example, at 20 units of labor, okay, the corresponding value for Q here is 120. So all I did was I put 20 in to this equation here. 5 times 20 is 100, plus 20 is 120. So any point along this red line gives us an equal amount of profit of 200. <clears throat> As for the isoprofit line corresponding to $600, Notice the vertical intercept is 60. The slope is still the same. If we were to plug 20 into this equation, 
we would get a output level of 160. And so at, when L is 20, we see that output is 160. So that's just one combination of many that would give us a profit of $600. All right, let's move on to example two. Here we're going to look at isoprofit curves when we are also have fixed cost. So profit is total revenue minus variable cost minus fixed cost. And just using um, R as the price of capital and K units of capital to capture our fixed cost. So here's all the abbreviations here. Again, the only new one here is the R and the K. R is the price of capital, K is units of capital. So as before, to get the isoprofit curve, we're going to solve the profit equation for Q. So just moving over the variable cost and fixed cost component to the other side. And now dividing through by P, the price. We get this. And I'm just going to move this R divided by P times K over, and over here. And I'm putting that in parentheses. I'm doing that because this would be the vertical intercept now. When we're dealing with fixed cost, your vertical intercept will take this form. The slope, once again, is just a wage divided by the product's price, P. So in our numerical example, a firm sells its product for $20 per unit, pays workers a wage of $40, the price of capital is $10, and the firm uses 80 units of capital. We want to drive and graph the firm's isoprofit curve at a profit of $400. I could use any value here for profit, but $400 is as good as any. So here is our isoprofit curve when we're dealing with fixed cost. Let's just plug all the information into it. So the profit is 400. The price in this example is $20. The price of capital is $10. The, the $10 here for the price of capital is also divided by the product's price. Again, $20. K is 80. The wage is 40. And the product's price over here is 20. So simplifying this a little bit, we're going to get 60 plus 2L, 20 plus 40 here, and that is our ISO profit curve at $400. And this is what the graph looks like. Vertical intercept of 60, slope of 2. So if L is 20, Q will equal 100. 2 times 20 is 40, plus 60 is 100. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.